if you count up the councils, you know, just on the Aryan controversy alone, before you get all into the, all the stuff that Jenkins talks about later, I counted 65 councils between the years 320 and 380. In 60 years, there are more than 60 councils. If you say, well, how did, the, how did the councils come out? Well, it all depended on who was at the council, who had called the council, and most importantly, who was emperor at the time of the council. The emperor Constantine, who called the, uh, the original council in Nicaea, uh, was succeeded by his son, Constantius, and Constantius was, a, was an Arian. Um, and Constantius was succeeded by somebody who was a Nicene. And so it went back and forth and back and forth, so that finally when Theodosius appears at the end, he's a kind of militant uh, Nicene, Nicene Christian. But right before that, the emperor right before him was, Val was Valens, who was an Arian. Va and Valens, by the way, called probably the largest and most ecumenical of all the councils was one that was held simultaneously in Italy and Greece. It was the Council of Rimini Seleucia, and there were hundreds and hundreds of bishops there, and that was an area, that was a totally Aryan council. That was the biggest attended council? Yeah, that was like, the, course. The, if you put them all together, I think there was something like 600, 600 700 people in, in attendance, wow. church officials in attendance. So what, what had happened was, we, I mean, I think you're absolutely right to say that, that this became a search for a form of words that would somehow please everybody. But then also at a certain point, they didn't care about pleasing everybody. They wanted their own views to be rubber, you know, to be legitimated. The, the Council of Nicaea itself was really not ecumenical at all. I mean, it was practically all of the uh, delegates to that council came from, a, a, you know, from a few countries. And it was not a very large council. Lots of people just didn't come at all. So the biggest council, uh, here's a, a Wikipedia article, if anyone's in interested, it says 300 to 400 bishops. Arminium, yeah. The biggest of the known councils actually came away with an Arian creed. Yes. Uh, so that Jesus was not fully God or true God or whatever. I have heard that overall, there were more than 200 councils of various sizes. Do we know the number of overall councils? I offhand, I don't, but I, they were, I'm sure, you know, hundreds. Hundreds? At least hundreds. Yeah, we could say hundreds. Yeah. Okay. Actually, Professor, the article here has an interesting line. Uh, it says the council was considered a defeat of Trinitarianism. Oh, yeah. And then, they, and then they have a quote attributed to St. Jerome. Yeah. The whole world groaned and was astonished to find itself Arian. And you know that quote very well. I do. And um, it, it, it's, it's a little bit disingenuous that because nobody was astonished. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Arianism was a major, uh, you know, a major tendency in, in Christian thinking. So it was, would not be astonishing. <laughs> 